folks around there. Uh, so again, uh, it's been a rough ride. Uh, let's go to the uh, internet stream. Uh, Bill Castle is uh, our chief photographer, and Bill, as you always know, is uh, out in this. And, and Bill is located in the uh, southern part of Tuscaloosa. Uh, he is down in the vicinity of Shelton State and uh, Hillcrest High School. Uh, that is in the uh, southwest part of the city of Tuscaloosa. And uh, he is uh, going to be in that area as the storm comes up from the southwest. And again, the good news, the storm continues to weaken and lose its structure. Uh, let's go to our Tuscaloosa Sky Cam. Uh, this is on top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. And uh, this is uh, uh, looking back off to the west, southwest. Uh, down below, you can see Interstate uh, 359. Uh, 68 degrees, south wind at 12. Dew point pretty ripe at 64. And uh, again, no evidence of any issues there. Of course, you're not going to see much from that perspective because the storm is coming right at that sky cam to see a wall cloud or a tornado. You have to be back on the back flank. Look at the dew point in Demopolis, 67. Very unstable air. Uh, that's about uh, 50 miles south of Tuscaloosa on the Tom Bigby River. Temperature 71 with a uh, southeast wind at 14. And that's troubling when you've got a southeast wind at the surface and you've got strong west winds aloft. The winds obviously are changing direction with altitude. The uh, fancy science word is helicity. And uh, when you've got a lot of that in relation relation to storm motion. That's when these updrafts can rotate and you get this kind of stuff we have going on uh, today. So uh, let's go back to our uh, uh, SkyCam network, or I'm sorry, the uh, radar. And I know that many of you in Tuscaloosa are hunkered down, but let me just one more say, time say this is clearly the most dangerous storm on the board right here. That storm that is in northern Sumter looks extremely dangerous. It is a wrapped up storm with a classic hook echo. Uh, it looks about as good as it's going to get. The tornado impact is an 8.0, very significant, moving east at 47. So that brings great concern uh, for those people that are in Gainesville along Highway 39 over here toward Bology and Utah. So a very dangerous storm in Sumter. But let's go back to our Tuscaloosa County storm. Hey, this well, is the storm. Before you go to that one, I think this one that's yeah, uh, between that. Utah. Goodness yeah, gracious. That, that came about very quickly. Goodness. Uh, so there, there's not a warning for that storm, but if you are on the north side of Utah or between Union and Utah or close to Knoxville, go ahead and I mean, you need to be in that safe place now. There's another circulation that's developing on top of you. Uh, then the next one will follow behind that. Here's what it looks like on the reflectivity. Uh, and uh, th this is that lone cell and look at there, hook echo, sure enough, uh, just on the northeast side of Utah, and uh, that's going to come across the northwest edge of Hale County, and that one could move right toward Moundville based on the direction everything's been moving. Uh, and this one's probably the, the reason that the original supercell has occluded, and uh, it, it looks like it's lost most of its structure over West Tuscaloosa County. It's still a severe storm for sure, and it still has some potential for rotation, and those rotations just don't go away like that. I mean, it's still evident there in West Tuscaloosa County. There may be a tornado there, but it's much more likely that we may be dealing with a wall cloud or a funnel cloud. However, considering the history of that storm, you need to go ahead and stay in your safe place. We do know that the Mercedes plant out at Vance in East Tuscaloosa County has gone through their safety plan. We would recommend everybody in the city of Tuscaloosa, uh, even Northport, over toward Alberta City, uh, Cottondale, go ahead and be in a safe place until we are sure that there is nothing there with this. Uh, there may be uh, there may be something there that we just can't see with the radar because radars don't see tornadoes. We see circulations within the storms. But I tell you, James, there are three on the board right now. Two of them have official tornado warnings on them, but I'm very suspicious of what's going on there right on I-2059 at Utah. And I just got a note, too, from uh, the Skywatcher chat uh, that there was a Tree down on I-2059 northbound. Uh, in uh, I'm not sure exactly what the what the what the mile marker would be on that, but northbound I-20, it's uh, a tree blocking traffic. So uh, in Green, it's it's just not a good idea to travel in Green County right now. Uh, there are multiple storms out there, and uh, they, they could all turn uh, severe, if not tornadic, in a moment's notice. Okay, it's uh, 3.05, and if, you, if you're just joining us, I'm uh, James Spann with uh, Jason Simpson. We are working a significant tornado outbreak in West Alabama. Uh, let's put the reflectivity back on, and again, we got a lot of people that are kind of hunkered down in Tuscaloosa, and the, the storm as it has approached Tuscaloosa has continued to uh, weaken. Um, the, this is the storm that produced the tornado near Clinton, Mississippi. Uh, let's pull it out just a little bit here. Uh, we can. Uh, there's Tuscaloosa. 
And again, still back in here, there might be evidence of something happening, but it is not even related to the storm this thing was 30 minutes ago or one hour ago. You see, there's broad circulation out here. But having said that, and a lot of times you'll hear me say, everything's going to be okay. But in this case, out of respect to the atmospheric profile and the conditions we have today, we advise everybody just to stay in a tornado safe place until the Weather Service opts to cancel this warning. And they tornado have not. reported on the ground in Gina. Yeah, that's South Tuscaloosa County Volunteer Fire Department's trying to confirm it right now. Well, that's where this is. Yeah, uh, so that's it. So there, there still is something there. Right. It's just smaller. The, 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 the one business that everybody knows in Jenna is baseball country, uh, which is a wonderful baseball camp out here, which I've been to many times, and that is uh, in extreme northeastern Greene County, and uh, that is uh, more than likely across the county line right now. Uh, so again, uh, we've had a report of a tornado at uh, Jenna, and that's moving over into Tuscaloosa County. And what, what's happening, this thing, it's in the form of reorganizing. That original look we had had it moving toward Moundville, but now with some reorganization, more than likely a tornado could be near Romulus now. This is out here in western Tuscaloosa County. So and clearly, that, that was a live sweep. We, we get that right. live level two sweep, so that's right. where it is right now, so this moment. Clearly, this increases the risk to downtown Tuscaloosa. So again, in this reorganization phase, we encourage everybody in the cities of Tuscaloosa and Northport and around the campus of the University of Alabama to stay in a safe place uh, un until we give you an all clear. Uh, let's go back to the Skycam. Now, this is getting close to our Skycam location. The Skycam is in, uh, now we'll go to our Tuscaloosa camera. This is Demopolis. And again, that's all these are going to give us some very interesting looks as these go into these population centers. Uh, but uh, we have uh, a Severe storm, and we'll let's, pan it let's to go the to Terry Sasser's live stream. Terry Sasser's on Highway 11 near Utah under that storm that we were watching develop right over town. Yeah, let's go to the live stream. He, if he we said can. He's, it's up. He said he has uh, definite rotation there. Uh, doesn't see anything that's down on the ground. I'm going to while we're looking at that, I'm going to look at the radar image and and, and see if I can see where, anything. Where is he again exactly? It's Highway 11, uh, very close to Utah. Okay, now this is. There's a tight circulation there. It's probably, uh, it, it looks like the circulation is on the north side of 2059. Uh, so he, he may be seeing the southern edge of the wall cloud coming overhead, but you can see, as Ashley said, the problem is it's we've trees. got so many trees. Yeah. In West Alabama, it starts to flatten out, but we have something definite there on radar. Terry said, I mean, you can see the inflow. Look at the way the trees are blowing. Uh, Terry says he's got some rotation there. Terry's a pretty good sky watcher. And he, he, okay, there you go. Yeah, now that's, we're starting that's to what see you want. That's what yeah. you want to see right there. Now, again, we've got multiple circulations, and we're going to work all of these today. But again, uh, that's Terry Sasser, who is uh, in Greene County, and we're looking at rotation that is uh, a little north of town, and we're going to watch those uh, cloud bases. But... Um, uh, all right, let's, let's go to Linda very quickly in the newsroom, and we'll come right back. This won't take long. Let's go right to Linda very quickly. Uh, thank you, James. We want to let you know that the Mer uh, Mercedes-Benz plant in Mercedes, uh, in Tuscaloosa County, rather, is under its emergency plan. We are told that the workers were told to get to safe areas due to the storm moving through. Again, we're talking about the Mercedes-Benz plant. It's under its emergency plan. The workers have been told to move to safe areas due to the storm moving through. Now, also in Greene County, according to emergency services, there are trees down and power lines down on County Road 117. Trees down and power lines down in Greene County on County Road 117. Also, James, we'd like to ask everyone, as you see weather damage in your area and you're able to safely take pictures, we want you to send that uh, picture to pictures at abc3340.com. Any images of weather damage in your area that you can safely take, do send it to pictures at abc3340. Com and also to our Facebook page, ABC 3340's Facebook page. Back to you, James. All right, Linda, thanks a lot. Let's go back to the radar, and we're going to do a reset here. Uh, first off, uh, let's go to a big picture because we have multiple circulations today affecting a lot of whole different people. So let's take a look. Uh, first off up here, we have no issues. All of the issues are in West Central Alabama, and I'd like to take off the radar data and just look at polygons only because we want to tell you who's in and who's out. So we'll do that, and the bright red, the 
those are the polygon warnings, and we've got a bunch of them, so it can be a little confusing, but again, you can clearly see this whole area right here, all the way from Emel to Gainesville to Utah to Foster's to Tuscaloosa and Northport. We have multiple circulations within that, and that's the reason for that long polygon. There is a second polygon down here for the storm near Demopolis, and that's moving up toward Greensboro and Hale County. Uh, so I, I want to be sure that we get all these storms covered. Uh, let's go to our Demopolis sky cam, and we'll take a look maybe to the north and see what this wow. thing looks like. Look at that. Goodness gracious. Let me just get out of the way. Look at that. All right. Uh, let's hold with that. Now, this is a very, very dangerous storm that is passing just north of Demopolis. There's a tornado warning for this storm. Let's and it, zoom in on the radar a little bit and inspect it a bit more to see what kind of structure we're seeing. It's hard to tell if that's a wall cloud or if it's a shelf cloud. We got a bounded weak echo region on radar. I think. Yeah, there's a donut hole. That's that's right on the uh, the point where Green, Sumter, and Marengo counties all come together. If you're in Demopolis, hunker down. There is something that oh that, that does not look good at all. It's it's right on top of Demopolis right now. So if if you're in the city of Demopolis, I know we're looking at the sky cam and it looks okay at the moment. But James, I think that is a wall cloud that's about to cross the river. I'm going to pan the camera around just a little bit if I can. I, I can't tell if we uh, if we see a tornado. It's hard to control it. It's bouncing back and forth there, but uh, it, it's hard to tell exactly what we have on the image there. But that area right there is certainly low and dark, right over the tree line, and it's those trees that get in the way of actually knowing exactly where these things are. Where these things I think are. That whole thing that that's the wall cloud right there. That's the. Long that, that's probably it. The, the whole thing is the wall cloud, and you can almost see striations. That's a rotating wall cloud. That is Let me pan just up north of Demopolis. And see if we can actually see any striations in it. No, it's hard. Well, there may be a little bit right there. Yeah, but I, I think that is That's a probably really, it, yeah. really good looking structure. That is a very dangerous storm. Let's zoom in a little bit and see if we're watching for cloud watch elements it. that might be moving up in that. Again, this is a, a supercell storm passing just north of Demopolis, uh, near the confluence of the Black Warrior and the Tom Bigby Rivers. And uh, this is a storm that has prompted a tornado warning from the National Weather Service in Birmingham. This storm is moving up in the direction of Greensboro. Uh, the track of this storm is similar to that of the May 27, 1973 tornado. I'm not saying it's that bad. It, it's probably not. That was an EF4. Uh, but the track is similar. So for those of you in uh, Greensboro and ultimately Brent, uh, we'll have to watch out for this storm. Again, we're watching directly under a uh, rotating wall cloud uh, that is just north of uh, the Demopolis Civic Center. And again, uh, this is about to pass over the uh, William Rufus King Bridge on U.S. Highway 43. We advise no travel along that bridge. The, the better structures are down here. Uh, again, we, we've got concern for Tuscaloosa. Uh, but again, at this point, uh, that storm structure is nothing like these structures that are farther south and west. And that's the reason we're going to hold it here for just a moment. Uh, again, this is a, a storm that has prompted a tornado warning for North Marengo County and a large part of Hale County. And uh, we're just going to watch this together for just a moment to see if indeed we have a tornado down. And this is the kind of day where you can easily have one down. We have had multiple large tornadoes today. And again, that's looking back ah. over towards the uh, north and east. Just across the uh, uh, inlet right there is the uh, Demopolis Yacht Basin. I'm, I promise I'm not trying to swing it that hard. Right. It's just, uh, it, it's not hitting its stop point. And again. That, there it is right in the center. And I, yeah, I, th I think we have a very broad wall. That thing is huge. And then right underneath there, it's hard to tell. But that would not surprise me if that were a tornado. I can't. Right. Can't we, confirm right. it. We don't Can't know confirm that. it. It just wouldn't be shocking given the way the way that the, the storms looked as they came out of Mississippi and Alabama earlier. Uh, that looks just like them. Right. Uh, but because we are at we're at a disadvantage here because we're seeing it in 2D. We're, we're seeing length and, and width here. We're not seeing depth. We're not actually seeing the rotation with our eyes. So uh, it, with the video, it doesn't do it do it justice like uh, like it does in person. But it would not be surprising at all if there is a tornado on the ground. Uh, uh, I would say the communities uh, like Lock 5, Millwood, this thing is south of Forkland. It's going to come across uh, Galleon and then head for New Bern and Rosemary. Uh, so if you're in those, uh, in those communities, we can't confirm that there is a large tornado there, but it would not be surprising at all. Look at there. We're getting the rear flank downdraft in there, starting to clear it out from the backside. You can actually see the back edge of the cumulonimbus. So that is, uh, that's tremendous kind of storm structure that we're watching live right there from the Demopolis Sky right. Cam. Now let's go back to the green
County storm. Quickly, Jason, a new tornado warning is in effect for Green Hail and Tuscaloosa counties. This is for the storm that's around Union up in Green County. We'll go back to the uh, radar. So that's a very dangerous storm moving out of Demopolis, moving up into southern Hale County. If you're anywhere close to the communities, we called out being a safe place. Uh, this is the new tornado warning that is in effect for parts of Green uh, I'm sorry, parts of Green Hale and Tuscaloosa counties until 4 o'clock. A, uh, a tornado possibly on radar near the community of Union, which is actually now east of Union. That uh, possible tornadic circulation has come on through Knoxville, and that's about to cross the Black Warrior River. This is uh, Green, this is Hale County. The river is the boundary between those two counties, and that's going to be scooting over here. This is the one that's going to wind up coming off the close to Moundville. Just on saw a, a note that came in uh, from Ronald Hughes. He says Pickens County is toning out volunteers to help with service.